Guys competed. We, it, at the end of the day, it comes down again. We have to make shots. Like we held them to 39% from the field. Uh, we shot 22 something from the three point line, 60 from the three. So we give ourselves a chance to stay around and, and stay in a game, but uh, to win against a good team on the road, um, for the most part, you're going to have to, to, to knock down more than that um, on that end. And I think, um, you know, we outscored them by 25 in, in, in the paint. So we did a lot of the things that we normally do pretty well, well tonight. Uh, just not enough. Uh, against a good team like that to get a road win. So uh, I thought I thought the effort was there. I thought our guys tried. We just came up short. Do you think missing shots is contagious? It, it can be. Um, I've been on teams where it is. I've been on teams where no matter how many in a row you miss, you think you're, someone's going to make the next one. So uh, it's just uh, you know, case by case. What are you looking for, Luke, with some of the guys that you're trying to get minutes for that haven't played a lot this year and, and how they fit into the rotation? We're trying to just keep groups going that are competing. And I thought we had good groups uh, energy-wise uh, out there tonight. We, uh, you know, with, uh, with the injuries we have and LeBron being on a minutes, uh, you know, watching his minutes, it's, it's you know, we got to get creative with uh, some of our lineups and, and making sure that we have groups out there that give us a chance to win still because we uh, ultimately we're trying to get uh, a win each and every time out. Is your intention for the rest of the year to mostly platoon LeBron and Rondo as is, or is, was that a matchup specific thing tonight? Uh, just uh, game by game, we'll take a, take a, a look at it. Do you have an early sense of whether LeBron will play tomorrow? I haven't talked to him yet. You, I asked you in Chicago where LeBron went to the bench and you were able to actually build, build the lead uh, tonight, end of the second quarter. He goes to the bench. Raptors gone up 14 to 2 runs. Um, yeah. How, how do you manage that, that those specific situations? I mean, it's it's challenging um, because most likely, if you know, if we if we leave him out there and, and push through it. Uh, you know, we're right there still. So uh, it worked out for us in Chicago tonight. It, it, it came back in to, to bite us, but um, you know, we, we got a game plan and we're gonna kind of, we're gonna kind of stick to it. You talked about, you, you've occasionally talked about Josh and what he's playing through and how sometimes he'll have to come out. Um, at this point, why is he playing at all? Uh, he's, he wants to compete. Uh, he's not at risk, from what I've been told, of injuring himself any worse. If he were, then, uh, you know, that would be a different conversation. But uh, playing through pain is something that everyone, uh, everyone in the NBA does. Um, so he needs to continue to get better. We need to continue to have him on the court. Um, and if he can play, 